I'm with the 227 Preventive Medicine Detachment from Joint Base Lewis McCord. Okay, and then what is your uh, your mission out here for the relief effort, sir? Our mission right now, we're supporting Task Force Pump, which is primarily an engineer battalion that we're going around pumping water, dewatering different locations. And our mission is to make sure that those soldiers are kept safe. And we do that by uh, conducting a series of environmental sampling. We're going to be testing primarily water. Uh, we're going to be testing the air and the soil to make sure that we characterize or we identify any potential contaminants that may be in those different uh, media. All right, sir, and uh, what are some of the potential hazards uh, for people around the water right now? What, what can you say for people to look out for in a way? Well, anytime you're around, you know, any unknown type of uh, body of water, you should always just be careful and try not to touch your face. That's one of the things that people forget. They, they worry about wading specifically in the water, but it's unknown what can be in there. There's definitely going to be a series of, you know, household contaminants, a series of other uh, bacteria or other fat factors that may be growing in the water. It's unknown right now. That's exactly why we're doing that sampling. Okay, sir. And then uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Would you like to say right now for people who uh, might need some guidance on how to handle these type of situations? Just the basic uh, sanitary uh, measures that we learn from first grade, you know, always wash your hands, uh, make sure you wash them thoroughly, and, uh, and just maintain proper hygiene. Don't touch your face, uh, don't touch your mouth, uh, don't touch your eyes. Just, again, proper hygiene, and believe it or not, good hand washing is probably the most important thing, uh, and most, the most important step to public health. In the garrison environment, uh, it's pretty mellow. Uh, we do a lot of training and stuff like that, and it's only so far that you can get with realistic training. So being out here, this is totally realistic, and this is where our soldiers' training is actually put to the test. So they've been doing a phenomenal job out here. They've been very eager to get from Dix up to, uh, to Fort Hamilton to come out and help with the relief efforts out here in uh, Breezy Point. All right, and uh, so far, since you've been out here, uh, what do you think of the, uh, the efforts done? Well, I, this is our first day on ground. Uh, I know we're doing a joint effort with the Marines and the Navy, uh, the Coast Guard and the Army. So being out here with all these tri-service, we actually get to see the combined efforts in the helping to relieve these, uh, these victims that's been affected by Hurricane Sandy. Okay, and is there anything you'd like to add as well, uh, just in general about every, the scope of the mission? The scope of the mission, uh, I feel that is very important in what we're doing from a preventive medicine standpoint. Uh, again, the soldiers have been very eager to get out here. Uh, we have a lot of soldiers that's coming from other units that augmented us. So building a team very quick was very important between the commander and I to find out what the strong points and the weak points was of those soldiers. That way we can implement uh, different tactics out here in order to get the, the best personnel uh, out here to support the mission.